Welcome to Glenwood Park. I'm Letitia Headings, host of The Middleburg Life, and I'm here with Turner Reuter. Turner, thanks for being with us. It's my pleasure. Glad to be here. So I understand you've ridden here before at Glenwood. Tell us about your experience. Well, I've ridden, I've trained, I've owned horses here. Uh, I've been in a winter circle. I've had the grass stains on my britches, uh, you know, so there've been some highs and lows. And it's, it, was a, it was a great run. I, that was a great part of my life from the mid 60s to the mid 70s. Mm -hmm. Please tell us about your involvement with Glenwood and racing that happens here every year. Well, right now I'm wearing two hats. One, I'm a uh, vice president of the Middleburg Spring Race Association. And the second is a second hat I wear as a trustee of the uh, Glenwood Park Trust. Uh, I've been coming here as a race official involved with the spring races now on 40 years. Started back in the day with Paul Fout, who was... Uh, one of the great, great steeplechase owners, trainers, and just a great friend. And now his son, Doug, has taken over since Paul's gone. So tell us about the amazing history of, of Glenwood Park and racing that has happened here over the past century. Well, Glenwood Park really began as, as the generosity of one single man, a man named Daniel C. Sands. And he was master of the Middleburg Hunt. Uh, back in 1911, I think is the first year, and he decided to put on a race meet called the Middleburg uh, Race Association Meet for uh, the benefit of his landowners, mostly farmers, neighbors nearby, whose land Middleburg uh, hunted over. He stayed master for 44 years until he retired in 1954, and it was often said by those that followed him that uh, he always was up with hounds and there was never a jump too high. Uh, upon Dan Sand's death in 1912, he left 112 acres in Glenwood Park in trust with his two friends, local farmers, uh, James B. Skinner and Rogers Fred, uh, in trust to be managed to the benefit of the Loudoun County Hospital and all things necessary for the preservation of the race course for as long as desirable. Mr. Sands was very active in the Middleburg community, philanthropically and otherwise. Tell us about some of his endeavors. Well, he's quite an interesting person. I've written a few things down about his past, and I'll read them to you. Uh, he founded the American Foxhound Club in 1912. He started the Middleburg Bank in 1924. He also served on the board of the Loudoun County Board of Supervisors, was a director of the Loudoun Hospital Center, and the president of the Middleburg Community Center. He was a busy guy. He was. They called him Mr. Middleburg, I think. That seems like a deserved title. Mm -hmm. Can you talk about how he originally designed the race course? Uh, yes. I, it was basically designed around the topography of Glenwood Park. As you can see, looking out, out to the fields here, we have a high uh, ground, low ground, uh, and it was just like fox hunting country. And steeplechasing basically developed in England in the old days when when people would run from steeple to steeple and who got there first. So it was basically the jumps have been placed over the years where they're best suited for a field of horses to, to get over them safely. When did the sport of steeplechase begin in America? That's a good question. Recognized steeplechasing began here in Virginia uh, around uh, the turn of the century, and this is the oldest uh, recognized steeplechase in, in the United States. Very special. Mm -hmm, it sure is. Right here in Middleburg's backyard. So tell me why this is one of the most unique courses in the world. Well, it's unique in many ways because we're so close to Washington. Uh, it's 112 acres, which has been put in a scenic easement, never to be divided. Uh, it also is built for horsemen and horse people uh, and spectators. Uh, anybody uh, from any place on the course, as you can look out there, can see every jump. Um, and it's, it's just a big, free, open-running course with a beautiful view, view to the Blue Ridge. Tell me why this is such an important race today. Well, it's very important because for two reasons. One, it connects us with the past. It's the, our 100th anniversary. Uh, and uh, the other thing that's important is that we have a board that administrates the Middleburg Spring Races. Uh, they are committed to the future of the race course for the next hundred years. Um, they have uh, started an endowment with full board participation. Our goal was to get a $3 million endowment going so that we could keep the purse structure and the course up to snuff 
uh, in such a beautiful manner as we have today. Uh, we're, we're halfway to that goal now, and we're all very proud of that. And we'd like to thank everyone who's helped us in that endeavor. They're the steeplechasing family, the steeplechasing fans, and just local uh, people who love open space and want to keep this place the way it is. This is my 40th year coming here to the, uh, the, the tower for the races. It's, it's an easy drive. Thank you for being with us today, and have fun. Uh, you're very welcome. It's my pleasure. <laughs>